Public health officials are alarmed by the number of pediatric flu cases in Iowa. Now, the State Department of Public Health is now investigating three flu-related deaths. KCCI's Ryan Smith is live in the newsroom with this story. Ryan? Family members of Trevon Epps say the boy died Sunday at Blank Children's Hospital from flu complications. This all happening after IDPH recently confirmed two separate pediatric deaths and a third is suspected but not yet confirmed. Trevon Epps was just seven years old. He loved life. He loved his family. His grieving family now faces the tragic task of planning a funeral. He was very close with his siblings. Um, He'll just be missed a great deal. Yeah. Shondrea Trotty says her nephew was a fighter. And in life, there was a lot for this spunky, smiling kid to overcome. One year ago, doctors diagnosed Epps with cardiomyopathy. His heart muscle struggled to pump as well as it should. Trotty remembers a trip to Gray's Lake. He just kept kind of looking down and he said, I'm really mad. And I said, why? And he said, because I'm tired. On New Year's Day, Epps was rushed to Blank Children's Hospital. He was diagnosed with the flu. We just took for granted that, yeah, he's ill, but he'll get over, you know, he'll get through it. But his breathing became a struggle. The symptoms worsened. Trevon Epps died at Blank with family by his side. You know, you kind of doctor your children do th through this thing. You never even think of death as an option. The state reports just one pediatric flu death in the past three years compared to two confirmed and one now under investigation in just this flu season. Family members have set up a memorial fund in Travon's name. We posted how and where you can help on our free website. That's at KCCI.com. Live in the newsroom tonight, Ryan Smith, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.